Hello and welcome to Cracking the Cryptic. So today, a look at today's Times Quick Cryptic. I'm just going to have a go at this puzzle and hope to learn something from the first few clues. Then after that, I'll kind of fill in the rest and uh, feel free to take your time during the rest of that video and pause it on the clues before I fill them in and see if uh, the same principles can get you to the answer. So let's have a look at one across to start with. Pressure after barrier is wet, four letters. So pressure. Remember that with crosswords, we're always looking for short synonyms or abbreviations or something short that can fit into the answer that means the bits in the clue. That's to deal with the wordplay. Obviously, there'll be a definition at one end or the other. That's the standard form. And therefore, we have to work out which end is giving wordplay and which end is giving definitions. Now, here it helps to know that the physics abbreviation for pressure is P. There are other things that pressure can mean in a crossword clue. But I would say that 95% of the time, if you see pressure in a crossword clue, it's going to translate to P. So after, that's just a, a word being used in its normal sense, hurrah. So we put P after a three-letter barrier. And you may be able to think of that on its own. Um, and then is wet. So the, uh, the definition is either is wet or more likely wet. So can we think of a four-letter word for wet ending in P? And well done if you've come up with damp where the dam is the barrier, uh, pressure is the P, and the whole thing means wet. Straightforward enough, I think. Let's have a look at two down. Celia could become Carol's girl. And there, Celia, I mean, unless you have an association with Celia that I don't, that looks like it must be the wordplay end. And Celia is helpfully five letters. It includes an A, which we've already got, in the answer and could become might suggest changing the order of the letters and anagram. Carol's girl, well, there's only one Carol I think spelt that way that you could be expected to know, and that's Lewis Carroll, whose most famous work is of course Alice in Wonderland. And Alice, this is a nice simple anagram of Celia. It's quite a nice idea to make one girl's name out of an anagram of another. So moving on to three down. Thatcher may be one entering proper English church. Well, we've got to be always careful about misdirection. Thatcher can have two meanings, but I would have thought that the, the guy who puts straw on houses is perhaps a bit less familiar, in fact, than Margaret Thatcher here. Now, what was Thatcher? We're looking for a phrase that's 5-8 and begins with P. Well, Baroness, perhaps, but Prime Minister also is a very obvious possibility and fits very neatly. So how does the wordplay work? One, entering proper English church. Well, if you break down that phrase, proper English church, you could get prim for proper, e for English, and minster for church. And then you just need to put an i in minster. And i is, of course, the, uh, the equivalent of one, not mainly because it looks like it, but because of the uh, Roman number. And you get Prime Minister. Um, fairly straightforward. I mean, very guessable from the definition. But again, this looking for short synonyms is helpful. Proper. What's short for proper? Well, due, perhaps, or prim. There's not many other possibilities there. Now, Minster is quite a long synonym for church. It's actually longer than the, uh, the indication, but that's not the bit that you'd guess first here, I'd say. Church, in fact, includes, just as I was saying, that pressure 95% of the time represents letter P. Church, 95% of the time, represents either CE for Church of England, which is one of the churches you can belong to, or CH for church, that's on an ordnance survey map, I think. Um, and as I say, 95% of the time, if you see church in a crossword clue, it either means C or CH. And this is one of the other 5% where it didn't. Um, so that's what you've got to be looking at. Obviously, it's nice to find some familiar bits like church or pressure in a clue. But also remember to look for short synonyms 
and work out which aim of the which which end of the clue is the definition and which is the word play. So here, get it, aim must be revised to become less harsh. I think there's a number of ways you could get at that. Um, must be revised in the middle of the clue, can't really be the definition. So it looks a lot like the indicator, the, 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 the operator on something to make the word play. Um, to become less harsh or less harsh looks like the definition. That's one way to get here. Um, and the other way is to notice that get it aim is a string of kind of useful letters, eight of them, and we're looking for an eight letter answer. Contains two I's, which we've already got in the grid. And we need an anagram of get it aim. We must revise those letters to make something, or in fact, for an answer that means to become less harsh. And here that's mitigate. Um, it's very nice, it's very nicely worded in a way, but there's a bit of a giveaway in these little short words all being run together. And uh, yes, the answer could have been something meaning get it, like capiche or understand, but in this case it seemed more likely that those were letters being provided to play with. And let's have a quick look at Ten Across. Withdraw from Southeast fancied player we hear. Well, Southeast can only be one thing in a crossword clue. I mean, we said 95% before. Here I'd be saying 99%. And um, Southeast is SE. Now, fancied player. Now, this particular sport we have to be thinking about there is uh, tennis. And we here is almost always an anagram for a homophone, uh, an indication for a homophone, I think, sorry. So we need SE and then something that sounds like a, a fancied tennis player and the whole thing to mean withdraw and we get secede. So that's how we do it. We're always looking for these short words that mean what's in the clue to make up the word play. We're looking for words in the clue that indicate how the word play is going to work. We're looking for definitions at one end or the other. And we're always using the size of the answer, the enumeration after the clue, or the letters we have in the grid, or both together to guide our thinking. So, as I say, I'm going to have a go at the rest of the puzzle now. Please feel free to just pause on bits that you think you might be able to get or find interesting, certainly enjoy the bits that you get faster than I do. Um, bear in mind that the quick cryptic puzzle in the Times is a perfectly normal cryptic puzzle, but maybe some of the word plays will be a bit, there won't be any of the really convoluted word plays that you might get in the main puzzle. There aren't normally many of those. And some of the vocabulary that you get in the main puzzle won't be needed here. That's really the only difference. So I'm going to just, as I say, go through what I can and uh, start filling it in. So thanks for watching.
So sorry about the uh, misprint in stiletto that may not have helped you with 18 down. I wrote stiletto at first. But there we go, otherwise fairly straightforward. Thanks for watching, as I say.